next door neighbor okay a new video started so um a new video has started so the, the next door neighbor um kept slamming the door and banging they kept slamming on the other side they kept slamming the door and banging um the, the the neighbor kept slamming the door and banging you know off and on throughout the evening and the night and um you just heard i don't know if y'all if the phone picked up that noise of the banging sound y'all just heard but you know i heard slamming doors and banging So, um, I hate firecrackers, I hate fireworks, and I have no friends or social life to go by anybody's house or church or anything for like 4th of July, and you know, so holidays in general, I have to just spend by myself and act like it's a normal day. <clears throat> and um ain't nothing special so um but i heard holidays are satanic also you know recently i just heard people talk about mother's day and father's day being pagan and satanic also so um and i'm like wow i, I didn't realize that i knew about the Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter and Labor Day and all that being satanic and pagan. I heard that Labor Day is a Marxist holiday. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And what other holidays? Yeah, like, um, I'm trying to figure out what other holidays they say is satanic. So, um, Oh, Valentine's Day and stuff like that. It's satanic and pagan. But then some people even say birthdays are satanic, pagan, and Luciferian and narcissistic. I'm like, well, wow, I didn't know that either. That when you celebrate your own birthday, it's like you worship yourself as a god for a day and be luciferian and narcissistic for your birthday and stuff i didn't know that you know but it would be hard for me to not i mean i i, I not a, not even allowed to celebrate i have to be by myself every year anyway <clears throat> you know but and i'd be broke because my birthday me and my twin sister our birthday is at the end of the month and then I'd be just barely able to have enough money to have a, like a birthday cake or anything. And all I can afford is to go to the dollar, I mean, go to the, go to the grocery store and get like probably Publix or something and get like a slice of cake that's like two ninety nine, and get like a smaller size little tiny little thing of ice cream like the small little dollar size um haagen ice cream or something <clears throat> and no candles or nothing just <laughs> just and no happy birthday to me or nothing like that you know and it, it's like but me living on social security and ssi I'm, low income throughout all these years that's um <clears throat> that's mostly all i could afford you know and i don't get nobody to love or care about me or wish me a happy birthday or um buy me any cake or i never got to have a never in my life really got to have a lavish throw down party or <clears throat> no friends to hang out with none of that. I have to spend every birthday alone every year and Then people tell me nobody wants to hear about your birthday. Or who cares? 
<clears throat> but um, when their birthday comes around, oh, they could take dog on vacations and stuff. Vacations to Europe. Lavish vacations, expensive vacations to Europe. And brag about how much of a great time they had and everything. <clears throat> if they can take a, a a vacation to um France, Germany, and Italy, and then come back and let the both them brag about it, or they'll take a cruise to the Bahamas or Jamaica or Dominican Republic or something. <clears throat> so um. But the beach is right here. And if I go to the beach for a birthday, oh, I get shunned for that. Like, you're not supposed to do that. But birthday or no birthday, I get shunned for going to the doggone beach. So, um, mainland Pensacola is cheaper than Gulf Breeze. And Gulf Breeze is where the beach is. So, the online perps who have never been here to Pensacola falsely accused me of, you know, trying to live a rich, fancy, luxury resort life and stuff, or uh, like a, a resort luxury lifestyle, and, you know, falsely accused me of staying in expensive, fancy hotels and stuff. That's not true. You, you know, this hotel room right now, the toilet seat is so loose that I almost can't even sit on it. And the, and the toilet seat was kind of dirty and I had to um, clean it off myself. How's that for luxury? Luxury, expensive, and fancy. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> so, I mean, or dealing with going... And, and, and they have like cigarette burns on the um cigarette burns on on the blankets here and, and stains on the sheet how's that for expensive and luxury so you know I never could afford and I don't even strive to try to stay in five star hotels and eat at expensive restaurants I just go where I'm welcome or where I'm not banned from Like the Super Six Motel and the um, Hospitality Inn Extended Stay Hotel are more expensive. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, on that cheaper side, but I, I'm no, I can't go to to those places no more. And that's where the gang stalk. Those two places where the gang stalking was really bad, <clears throat> really bad. <clears throat> so um. I saw this questionnaire and I cannot find the questionnaire uh, that was asking about targeted individuals. If your targeting is so bad that you can't have a permanent place to live and you're forced to eat out at restaurants or you're forced to eat, um, or, I mean, or if you're forced to stay in hotels and motels or be homeless on the streets due to the targeting. Or if you're blocked from work or employment or normal life, I cannot find that website with the um questionnaire. I thought I bookmarked it, but I guess not. I don't know. But I wish I could find that website. I thought that I may have done a video on it. Something with about the survey for targeted individuals. I hope I can find it. I hope I can come across that um that website again. <clears throat> so um how they hinder and sabotage us. But they got something that I feel gaslit about and gaslit and confused about that's deeply bothering me at the moment. But I'm just gonna wait and see. And um but I'm not going to talk about it yet, but I'm just deeply bothered about something. So, um, I guess I'll hold off on talking about it. <clears throat> but, um, I'm not even going to give any hints on, on what, what is bothering me at the moment. I'm not going to give any hints. 
on what's bothering me at the moment. <clears throat> you know, but I wish I could talk about it, but nobody's going to want to listen to me. They would rather defend and agree with the other person. So, um, you know, I have difficulty holding in things that bother me. You know, I feel like I have to express it emotionally, you know, what's emotionally bothering me, you know. I hate being bothered about stuff and being forced to stuff in my emotions. And then when I do let them out, then everybody, you know, attacks me or ignores me <clears throat> and stuff like that, you know. But anyway, I feel like this free night makes up for the night that I had to pay almost double this past Saturday, you know, but... I would love to do another night tomorrow, but I mean, I mean, you, you know, all it would take is like two or three weekend nights. If I were, were to do that, then my whole social security check is gone and I still have to pay my storage bill and my cell phone bill. And I wanted to wash these clothes, you know, my, these clothes that I have on. I wanted to, you know, wash it in the in the machine, but I just got that fifty dollars, and I'm just gonna end up getting paid tomorrow, and I'm waiting for that fourth deposit from that other hotel. So yeah, this one I didn't have to pay a deposit, but the other one I did. But they got this hotel that I'm staying at. They got a location downtown that's. Poorer quality and noisier, but it's more expensive because it's downtown. But here, it's cheaper, but it's far out the way, you know. So, earlier today, um, I was, you know, checking in, and it had this lady that was in a blue Chevy Cavalier that looked almost identical to my twin sister and her husband's old car. And then she was wearing a green nursing scrubs outfit. And I don't know if she was one of the housekeepers or what, but she was having like a conver an unimportant conversation with the front desk lady. And I was all agitated because I'm sleep deprived and I just, wanted to hurry up and get to my room and but they had like a prolonged unimportant conversation and stuff and then the front desk agent kept on throwing up the devil horns and hand signs at me and talking to me and stuff you know but and then at the restaurant for lunch earlier they had this, um, like the, I don't know, they had this girl who handed me my food, but she handed me my food, but then she kept on, um, she asked me at least four, four or five times if everything was good, and I was just so mad, you know, and it felt like when Trisha tried to act fake nice towards me and try to butter me up and was perfect me and stuff. I mean, I felt that same kind of disgusted and disturbed and annoyed. Um, it's like, you ain't gonna cheat me out my food and then ask me if everything is okay. Hell no, ain't nothing okay because I'm, I'm all mad and everything. But then y'all be the first to have your, have your hands out for a doggone tip. But you call me entitled and greedy. I've lived a deprived life my entire life, and you still call me entitled and greedy and falsely accuse me of wanting to live in luxury. Or, you know, think I'm too good for this or that or whatever. You know. So, I with my writing, I hate working on writing projects. 
and then I hate working on writing projects and then not being able to finish them in one day you know if it's a novel or something big then that's expected or a big book then that's something expected but something like a blog post or something smaller yeah I really um hate that but it's like I know tomorrow and probably Tuesday I got a lot of business to handle and a lot of things to do <clears throat> and um it's gonna be hectic with all this doggone rain and everything you know so I mean I don't even know if they had any deadlines that passed or with the housing or if there's any way I can still get the housing I hope they don't bump me back to the end of the list or nothing <clears throat> you know so um I thought I could have sworn I thought I did update my address with them so they sent the letter to the old address and cuz and and they, and only one time they called me <clears throat> and um I tried to contact them last year and I did not realize that they were still it might be part of the gang stalking for them to to you know hold off my housing by deliberately sending stuff to the old address the address way in New Orleans. That's that's dumb. After I updated and told y'all my new address and everything. So they had this job opportunity. I'm not sure if they would hire me, but I said I do not want to do employment anymore. But this is like a 1099 job, but I'm scared about it because they try to say that, well, if you um, late, a little too late or if you're too early for the, um, see, they're hurting my shoulder again, my left shoulder. they causing pain to my left shoulder again. So um, if you're late or early to the job, then they charge you money for it, but it's a 1099 position. So that means that if I got into an argument with the um, perp employee and all of a sudden up and walked off the job or quit, then they would they said they, that they would charge you a hundred dollars for that. So I'm like I'm not trapping myself in something like that. And then the um I mean the um the the perp coworkers would take advantage of doing something like that. On purpose, just for me to have to owe debt and more money and stuff. Or be cheated out of my work. <clears throat> so, I mean, and I feel traumatized and need to back off. You know, I, I, I said that for the rest of my life, I do not want to be employed anymore. Like, in 2017 and 2018, I got frustrated and said that I do not want to sign any more apartment leases. Because of the hell I went through, but I didn't, I, th I didn't realize it was connected with the gang stalking. So now I'm trying to fight back with trying to um, get stabilized housing again. But they might run me out my doggone housing or, or bully me out my doggone housing. Or, you know, bull community mobbing, neighborhood mobbing, neighborhood watch, infraguard gang stalking program, you know. <clears throat> so, um... For the past week or two, I've been getting nothing but harassing comments on YouTube. And I blocked, I have a screenshot and blocked all those um, accounts where people trying to say you need help and you need a psychiatrist or, you know, or oh, what makes you so think you're so great that people want to stalk you and you're the one who's a narcissist and all that and stuff. But they're, they're jealous and freaking hate me. So, um, I, as I said, I want to be a full-time independent writer. I want to be a full-time independent writer, but they keep slowing me down with the forced homelessness and the sleep deprivation. And maybe that drone that was hovering over me last night um, kept me sleep-deprived. And also, me anticipating the rain 
Um, that probably kept me awake too. So, um, <clears throat> so I, uh, I want to get this, you know, this shirt and my clothes washed. But I mean, yeah, I'm debating on whether or not to do another night tomorrow if the prices are going to be double. <clears throat> but, um, and then I, it's supposed to be raining all night and stuff real bad. So I don't know. I'm scared. And then last night, they said it was 79 or 80 degrees, but I felt like I was freezing cold. And, you know, I felt like, didn't, I mean, I didn't want to be carrying around the sleeping bag because then I look obvious homeless and then get treated with discrimination at certain uh, restaurants and stuff. So, um, the gang stalkers, they stalk my blog, but then block everybody else from reading my blog. But for any of you, my supporters, you, you know, <clears throat> I mean, the professed targeted individuals, they avoid me like the plague, but, um, You know, it's very rare that I'll get a comment of somebody saying that they're targeted too. And, you know, saying that, you know, keep strong and all that, you know. But it's like, I know they got to be more targeted individuals, more real targeted individuals than this. But Or maybe they might just be on different platforms. So, um, I have a few T.I people I'm not really close with them a couple of them a few of them that um is on Twitter you know but I'm scared to get close with anybody because of all these failed relationships and I heard that the perps use frequencies to brainwash two targeted individuals to not get along or fight each other or, or you know stuff like that but then certain targets do be taking the deals and becoming perps and once you do that then you become fake <clears throat> so I'm still trying to hold out and just try to survive I'm not even trying to seek riches hell people are struggling to, struggling to eat with the inflation and um, food shortages and everything it's like it's not even and, and then me not having a permanent place to live, I can't even be a prepper like I would want to. So, um, yeah, I mean, the food shortages, the everything shortage, and humanity's about to, humanity's going down very soon. You know, so many people are talking about that something's bad. It's anticipating to happen for the month of July. And um, so people are saying stock up and prepare and stuff. It's no time to be chasing money when money's about to be obsolete soon. But the thing is, you know, me just needing help to survive day to day. You know, survive day to day. And that's all I'm trying to do. But the perps want to falsely make it like as if I want riches and stuff. And I don't. I'm just trying to survive day to day. And it's it's hard. But they suppress you from getting anything at all unless you sell out and become one of them. And then after that, they'll stop calling you greedy and fat. They'll stop calling you mentally ill and crazy. And I'm not, I mean, I don't want earthly friends anymore. You know, I don't even care. So, I mean, I hate to be mentally agonized about something that's bothering me. That I'm, as I said, I want to hold out and wait and see. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I hate being gaslit. And, and play with and then they, the same people who gaslit and play with you 
they're the ones who reverse it on you and falsely accuse you of doing that to them. Playing a game on them when it's them doing it to you. And it's like, why waste my dog on time and play games? You know? So, I'm still trying to recover from what happened almost two months ago. So, um, I'm just letting y'all know where I stand. And I'm hoping, I'm thankful and glad to be off the doggone streets, at least for the night. And, um, I don't know, I'm scared to have to go back on the streets, but, you know, <clears throat> before I go, I wanted to tell y'all <clears throat> about some, a man had made a viral TikTok video saying that extended stay hotels is the new trend with so-called, you know, affordable housing. Since they want to do that three and a half times the rent rule and stuff like that. And I heard more and more people are ending up staying in um, extended stay hotels and motels now. <clears throat> and people, people, tourists frown upon you staying at a hotel or a motel or whatever. But, you know, as I say, I want to be like a full-time writer, personal writer and blogger. And, you know, my I have this cheap phone, you know, that's time for a new one. But, you know, I wish I could. I suck at photography, but I like to take pictures. And I don't know much of anything about photography. photography but, you know, I like to take pictures of nature and food and certain objects and stuff like that, you know. Um... And, I mean, as I said, the gang stalkers are blocking me from getting to live the way I really want to and be very controlling and abusive and then make it like as, like, how, how are you going to, in one moment, you say, well, Candy wants to be homeless on the streets. And then at the same time, and then you say, don't help her. And then you, at the same time, you say Candy wants to live a luxury, lavish lifestyle. How, 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 but then y'all call me illogical and crazy. How, how, how the hell am I going to want to live in luxury and live homeless at the same time? Now y'all the ones being illogical. But y'all get, y'all, I mean, y'all, y'all didn't have to eat dog on, a dog on Lunchable. Or, or eat almost nothing for dinner. Y'all probably had y'all filet mignon and lobster. With some, with some um, crab linguine. And, and y'all um, peach cobbler. But, I mean, y'all think y'all could dictate and control what subjects I'm allowed to talk about. And, you know, as I said, I, I got you bastards blocked, but y'all think that y'all are that powerful, great, and strong that y'all think that y'all can outdo God's plan. So let me go for now, and I'm hoping that my storage space ain't eating up all my phone. So um, thanks for listening to me, and I'm going to see y'all later.